and welcome back to the workshop. Uh, a little while ago um, we showed a video with a DG7-32 tube. Um, we engineered ourselves a little television uh, monitor using that particular oscilloscope tube. Uh, it wasn't very good, it was hideously overcomplicated. Um, uh, to be honest I look back at some of the circuitry I designed into that and even I couldn't make head and tail of it studying my notes, it really was rubbish. So uh, about a week, two weeks ago, we scrapped it all off and started again. And we've ended up back here. Much simpler design, much better results. Uh, for such a simple circuit, it really does work quite well. Um, some people had uh, posted some remarks on the uh, first video saying, did I ever get it going? And I thought, oh, no, I didn't. But now I have. So uh, let's have a little overview of the circuit. Right, here's a bit of an overview of the uh, chassis. Over here, Mr. Main's transformer. Now, beforehand, we had two mains transformers. Um, in fact, we've still got two mains transformers, but uh, one got robbed to do another project, as is the way. So we've still got this one. Um, this gives us two HT rails, um, about uh, 300 volts and about 150 volts. Um, it's rectified by this uh, uh, EZ81, I think. Yeah, EZ81. Um, Full wave rectifier and I think if you're the other side of the pond that's a 6x5 could be wrong um, okay now that power supply is used to drive these six valves over here we'll come to that in a minute right now the scope tube over here the 7-32 scope tube that needs um, potential difference across it of about 700 volts various ways of achieving this some people put 350 volts on the anode and have the cathode at minus 350 volts um, and we looked at doing things that way and it, we did probably got there but uh, as we've intended to do it we've actually got 700 volts on the anode and the cathode is actually hovering about 100 volts up and that allows us to modulate the uh, grid with video of sort of 0 to 100 volts excellent right now the video entering the grid by the way has to be negative negative going so a high voltage will give you a black Right, now, the 700 volts is derived from this um, X bathroom socket shaver transformer, so it's 240 in, 240 out. Um, here's my one compromise. Originally, this thing was supposed to be designed so it had um, no semiconductors in it. Now, there's a little valve base tuck behind there. That used to have the AHD rectifier in it in the original design, and the heaters for, the, for that rectifier were elevated. Uh, on top of the HT supply by this. Unfortunately, if you put a, a valve regulator, a rectifier in there at the moment, the problem we have is the heater cathode um, potential is too great. And it will flash over. In fact, it did flash over. We thought we'd get away with it. Uh, we were wrong. Very wrong. So, unfortunately, underneath there is a little semiconductor diode, which obviously doesn't need a heater. So, there we go. Anyway, video comes along here into this yellow plug here. And is actually amplified first by this valve here which is an EF91. If you're the other side of the pond, that's a 6AM6. It's a pentode, um, just so chosen because I've got hundreds of them and it will do the job. Uh, from there, the video is passed to our second video amplifier, um, which is another EF91 because we've got hundreds of them. So that then uh, increases our level of our video to um, 100 volts which then feeds the grid of the tube. Right, we need to deflect the tube as well. Oh yes. Right, so also from the first video amplifier, it uh, feeds this triode, this double triode in here. Um, it is a 6N6P. And they are, got hundreds of them. Big batch of them out of Russia. It's sort of a, an ECC88 come 6DJ8, uh, if you're that side of the pond. Um, but it uses a lot more heat current, actually. But um, super little tube. 6N6. Sorry, this is 6N1. What am I talking about? 6N1. But that's the sort of equivalency. There it is. Very good. Got a box from super little tube. So one of those triodes forms a sync amplifier. So basically, um, we try and lose some of the luminance and chrominance information there with a filter and pick off the sinks. It's called a sync clipper, really. 
Uh, from there, we chop off the frame sync pulses, um, which then get passed to this Fantastron uh, oscillator over here. Two triodes, uh, usual sort of Fantastron um, triangle wave generator, which of course is easily synced by the pulses from the sync amp. That is then passed over to here, um, which is the frame output tube. Now, this tube then, it's a differential amplifier. So it's push-pull. That then feeds the plates inside the tube to give us the uh, Y deflection. So that's our frame output. Um, the original design, if you look back at the videos I've done, it uh, the picture was all displaced up to one corner. And that's because we weren't using differential deflection. Now we are, so we can deflect the picture across the whole screen. We've got some issues with linearity. But it's a really simple circuit, so I can't say I'm surprised. Right, that's the frame taken care of. Uh, what else happens? What else happens? Uh, video pulses then feed the uh, another Fantastron oscillator. This time the horizontal sync, horizontal oscillator running at 15.625 uh, 15 kilohertz in the UK. Brilliant. Now, big problems here. We did have trouble with the luminance triggering the line sync. So big changes in luminance would give us a false line lock and give us all sorts of weird and wonderful cogging effects on the picture. Again, a really simple circuit, so perhaps not, uh, perhaps I've been a bit harsh, but we've put two loads of filtering in there just to try and reduce that. Um, there are other ways we could have done it, again, using other tubes. We didn't want to go down that complicated route. It's supposed to be such a simple circuit, and that's what I was aiming for, something simple. Again, uh, these, the, the waveform comes out of there, feeds our differential amplifier, feeds our X plates to give us the line deflection. Now the plates are referenced to our 700 volts um, anode voltage. So the plates are actually up at 700 volts as some hefty decoupling, sorry, coupling capacitors from the output of these two small amplifiers to the tube itself. And there it is. Marvellous. Let's uh, switch it on, warm some valves up. And watch some telly, shall we? Probably turn the brightness down a little bit. Ooh, more definition out of it at low brightnesses. There's some flyback lines evident in the picture. Oh, camera's having a little bit of a difficulty focusing. Let's just try again. There we go. There we go. How's that? Simple television. Pan out for the arty shot of all the valves glowing in the dark. Look at that, marvellous. Simple television with a DG7-32 oscilloscope tube. Thanks for watching.